Regina Capwell. Um, my mom's going to do everything. Marriage, divorce, uh, but remarriage, yeah. divorce, murder and attempts, mom, trials, I and do. other tribulations. So nice but she's you. never been through something Thank like this. Thank you so much. Yes, and it's all catching up with her. <laughs> Frankly, she's scared to death. The winner is from Santa Barbara, Justin Goku. Rob Matson and the great cast and crew and everyone upstairs in the office at Santa Barbara. <laughs> and I would also like to thank my mom and dad and everyone in the audience and all the fans of Santa Barbara. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Well, Mama told me when I was young, said, sit beside me, my only son, and listen closely to what I say. And if you do this, it'll help you some sunny day I yet will Oh, take your time Don't live too fast Troubles will come And they will pass You'll find a warm arm And you'll find love And don't forget that There is a someone Up above And be a simple your lust from the rich man's gold all that you need now is in your soul and you can do this oh baby if you try I, I, all that I want from you my son is to be sad and be a simple kind of man Be something you love and understand Baby, be a simple kind of man Who won't you do this and the world has to I can give you If you just reach out to me
shake my head Everything a kiss cannot bring I will give you If you just say you will And it's freedom in my home And it's freedom in my home In my own In my own In my own I definitely had a kind of a different childhood. Um, I became a working child actor at the age of six. But as I grew older and I got to high school and I knew it was time for me to do something else and, and I made the decision to uh, leave the industry. And what I started experiencing was this loneliness because when you go through something like that, it's defining you. And now I had no definition. 
and the transition into drugs and alcohol was so quick, uh, I quickly got lost in that. I found myself in a facility and it involved a 12-step program. And I'm reading through this stuff and it's communicating with God and, and I called my mom and dad and I said, this isn't for me, I'll be out of here in three days. But I stuck around and then it hits me that, oh my gosh, I was not alone. I am here by the grace of God and he loves me and I didn't deserve it. And I knew, and that the years of feeling like I didn't deserve it were suddenly like washed away. And I just remember I was dancing in my room and, and I was just so excited and I ran out and told everybody I could that it finally clicked. And it was no longer a story in a book. It was really the, the way I wanted to live the rest of my life. Rediscovering what what's in my heart and what's in my head and trying to align those things with the message of the Lord. It's not the easiest thing to do, but when I do it or I get close to doing it and those days when I put my heart in Jesus' hand and let Him lead, those are the best days of my life. The desire for my future is to no longer be focused on self, on ego, and pride. It's really about focusing on others and not this modern world that surrounds us, but the kingdom of Christ.